James Greenberger of the National Alliance for Advanced Transportation Batteries thinks the U.S. can and has to catch up with and then surpass Japan and South Korea on lithium-ion cell production. Japan certainly has led the way in lithium-ion battery cell uh, production. Uh, South Korea has a very vibrant industry, uh, but the elephant in the room as always seems to be the People's Republic of China that uh, is uh, moving forward uh, with lithium-ion battery cell production uh, by leaps and bounds. Uh, they uh, are certainly soon to be, if not already, the leader by volume in lithium-ion uh, battery cell production. Uh, in technology, I would say that the Japanese are still uh, probably have the lead in actual manufacturing uh, technology, but uh, uh, the Chinese are, are really going to be the folks ultimately that we have to beat. So the time for us to move is, is, is now? No question yeah. about it. Uh, we're behind, but uh, I believe that we can uh, catch up. Uh, it's really a very exciting time for the battery industry. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember back in the 1980s uh, when the steel industry was under great pressure from the Japanese. Uh, somebody asked, well, what would Andrew Carnegie uh, do if you could wake him from the dead? Uh, what would he say that uh, in the 1980s it is more economic to mine uh, iron ore in uh, Minnesota, uh, ship it across by uh, train to the West Coast, take it on a boat over over to Japan, have it refined into stainless steel in Japan, uh, ship it back by boat to the United States and uh, uh, take it by train to Detroit and it's less expensive than making the steel uh, in the Midwest. And what Andrew Carnegie would have said is that uh, what a great time to be in the steel business. Uh, today as we're looking at battery cell manufacture uh, where we have the batteries being imported from China. Uh, mm -hmm. These are heavy, uh, difficult to transport and uh, 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 ultimately manufactured uh, best through highly automated processes. Uh, the, the Chinese and the Japanese and the South Koreans are now in the lead. Uh, what a great time to be in the battery business yeah. in the United States because uh, that's a business uh, uh, we can get into and that's a competition we can win. The hurdles, of course, are catching up on the technology front. Uh, in the United States, we've always led the world and continue to lead the world in advanced materials development and technology. Uh, the Japanese actually license a lot of their best ideas from our national labs, mm -hmm. uh, Argonne uh, National Lab mm -hmm. and uh, other uh, research uh, universities. Uh, but uh, what they do very well in Asia that we have sort of lost our edge in in the United States is manufacturing process technology. That is the actual, you know, fairly uh, uh, mundane uh, or apparently mundane uh, talent of taking different products and uh, or taking different materials and turning them into a product, uh, manufacturing them at low cost and putting them out with great consistency and uh, very high quality. Uh, that's a talent that has moved uh, off uh, shore, and that's the talent and that's the technology we need to get back. Uh, that's precisely what we're intending to do. The principle behind that bat uh, mm -hmm. is to permit as uh, many U.S. companies to bring as many new lithium-ion batteries uh, to the market as possible and to let the market really determine who the winners and losers are going to be over time. Mm -hmm. uh, that's been the great strength of American industry for over 100 years. Uh, if we're going to win this battle, uh, that's the strength we're going to have to play to. And uh, we look forward to uh, being a, an important part of that battle.